Raphael is one of the great seven angels, a senior angel and in charge of second heaven. He's an archangel, an angel of the sun and the angel for healing, all forms of healing, physically, emotionally, mentally and spiritually. He's entrusted with the healing power of God. His name means to heal or God has healed. In the Bible, the book of John 5, verses 2 to 4, he is the angel who troubles the water in the pool of Bethesda. And in the Quran, he is known as Israfil. Raphael also appears in the book of Genesis, as God entrusts him to save Lot and to heal Abraham. In Catholic countries, his Saints' Day is usually celebrated on the 29th of September. In some religions, he's celebrated in November, and in others, during August. Raphael is said to have appeared in an apparition in Cordoba, Spain, back in the 16th century, and to this day, he's still celebrated in the city's festivals. Why did he appear specifically in Cordoba? Perhaps because Cordoba has a famous cathedral that's also a famous mosque, uniting the two religions in one and making it the obvious site. He is the angel of health and healing, of wholeness, of science and knowledge, and is the guardian of the tree of knowledge and the tree of life. He can be called upon to help nurses, doctors and all medical workers and healers, and is also associated with travellers. He is often depicted with a fish or holding a staff to guard pilgrims on their journeys. When Vasco da Gama set sail from Portugal for India back in 1497, he took a small statue of Raphael with him, which to this day can still be found in the Naval Museum in Lisbon. There are many notable places around the world called San Rafael, including the San Rafael River and the San Rafael Desert in Utah in the USA. There are many colours associated with Raphael, yellow representing the sun, green for the healing of the earth and the heart chakra, as well as pink, and blue for the general colour of healing. Perhaps consider meditating with some clear quartz or with moonstone and focusing on Raphael to feel him closer to you, bringing joy, freedom and empathy, cleansing you, grounding you and healing you with love.